Good evening, everyone. Sintoya Brown will soon be a free woman. It is a moment many across the country, including activists, lawmakers, and celebrities, have been waiting and hoping for. She was sentenced to life in prison in 2006 for shooting and killing 43-year-old Johnny Allen. She was 16 years old at the time. But after Governor Haslam announced he was reducing her 51-year sentence to 15 years, many were left wondering why she has to wait until August to be released from prison. New at 10, News Channel 5's Emily Luxon is with us to explain this. Emily. Well, Governor Haslam did not say why he picked August 7th as her release date, but it does mark 15 years to the day since her original arrest. And her attorney says 15 years is a typical sentence for a second degree murder conviction. And he thinks that was a factor in Governor Haslam's decision. Uh, this is what a commutation looks like. As supporters of Centoya Brown celebrate news of her pending release from prison, they're also looking ahead to what's next with a renewed sense of optimism. And I've never seen the peace and joy on her face that I saw today. Brown's parole conditions require that she not violate any state or federal laws and that she follow the Tennessee Department of Corrections transition and reentry plan. Requirements include continuing to work on her bachelor's degree, maintaining a job, participating in regular counseling sessions and performing community service, including working with at-risk youth. Supporters say Brown has already started the process. She's going to be taking her last class for her bachelor's. She'll actually have her bachelor's degree when she exits prison. While behind bars, Brown also earned her GED and completed an associate degree with a 4.0 GPA. Those who know her best say her efforts to transform her life played a role in Governor Haslam's decision. To watch her go from where she was to where she is, is the most amazing thing that I've seen in my almost five decades of practice. While there's still work to be done, supporters say Brown is looking forward to the next chapter of her life. She would do much to make the world a better place in the days to come. Once she is released from prison, Brown will be on parole for 10 years. Since this is a commutation and not an exoneration, the charges will stay on her record. Reporting live at the Capitol, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5.